Blow all havoc here. We're back. All right. So, oh yeah, we, were, we, we took a seat in the last episode. So, let's head outside. Uh, we have gone to the workshop for loading up today's session, and um, that asteroid's really close. Um, <clears throat> I went through and made sure I have all the. Uh, enemy AIs and all that stuff all downloaded, installed, and um, modified the config files a little bit. Yeah, so that's all there. That's all well and good. Um, oh, we need to go this way. And then, uh, so, this isn't very big. Th this was, I, I had a couple thoughts this morning. Uh, actually, one of them was last night as I was logging out. How good a shot are you? Um, well, considering you're missing us entirely, uh, not that good. Um, Swiss cheese. Chiao. And vanish. Come on, Bob. Oh, I turned neutral blocks off, didn't I? Mm, I did. So this debris is going to get collected up uh, as we expand. Because uh, we're going to be placing bobs all over the station to increase the, the, the size of the station and the ability to build. Um, <coughs> so, back to those, um, yeah, distracted shiny things. Uh, this isn't big. This isn't even... I mean, well, I mean, look at that. The collar is actually bigger than this is. So, secondly, I went to uh, the workshop and grabbed, um, let's see, powerful series. So, I grabbed these. It's pretty much everything you're going to need in the game just cranked to, uh, well, 50. Atmospheric thrusters, ion thrusters, batteries, tanks, uh, modules. So, this is what we need to put there. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put that there. Uh, let's go to here, here, here. What? How did that happen? How does that even begin to happen? So, let's get rid of that. That's step one. Uh, step two. Paint. Gold. And then we're going to put that here. Make sure that's facing the correct direction. Yeah. Figures. <laughs> uh, figures. Alright, so, step two. Uh, we need some steel plates. Um, number nine. Oh, all right. Meteor storm inbound. Okay, <clears throat> so we have this super mega mondo reactor to power our facility. That's true. That I want to be. I want this to be the way it is. But I want this to come out probably... 10 to 15 more blocks. This is going to be the core of the station. This is, uh, I mean, I want this to have um, a shape kind of like a top where it has the the wafer out the middles and then the spikes going up the top and the bottom. But this is, I'm, this is that uh, core section that I want to be going up and down in that fashion. And it's all going to be scaled off of this, so if we make this too small, the rest of the station is going to come out small too. I mean, I want it to look big in relation to this. And right now, that this isn't going to do it. Secondly, as I was going to bed, and I was like, first of all, I was like, did I hit the publish video or the pu publish video button? I don't remember if I did. Ugh. So I laid there in torment and toil. 
then I realized this looks really cool from the outside, but guess what this stops us from doing? Seeing outside. So we need to replace this with glass. I'm thinking about putting the shields in the corners. I think that'll be pretty cool. But I was tormenting on that, or tormented. Uh, I was thinking on that as I laid there in bed while I was also wondering whether or not I hit the publish button to wake up this morning to have Zombie Coffee make a fantastic comment. This is on three, the way it should be. It's an odd number. So you have a center and then a block to either side all the way around. These are even numbers. It's never gonna line up. Look at this. I didn't even realize this yesterday. If we put a shield here, it's not gonna line up. It's gonna come over here into this corner and it's not gonna look cool like we had thought over in this corner. This isn't a thing. This won't happen. Not in its current configuration. This current configuration needs to change anyway, as we were just discussing, because I'm thinking about putting glass there instead. But in any case, this needs to go away. So we're gonna get rid of you, you, all of you. Be gone with you. And we got two more up here. All right. So with that, we also need to extend this. So let's come out here to this corner. We can hold down shift for the. No, that's not very effective. more incoming coming from that side so I think we're gonna be all right why is that one blinking huh so um oh 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 and another thing that was brought up uh, let's see uh, it was um I, the, I don't see it. Oh, yeah. The zombie copy brought it up also. I just wanted to make sure credit's going where it needs to be going. Um, we need to make sure info convert to station. Ah, thank you. He's like, hey, man, are you, are you sure that's a, that's a station? You should probably check into that. And whoa, that hurt. Wow. We just got rocked. Holy crap. Again. Okay, so I wasn't imagining things. The Titan is taking a hit. Okay, so those upgraded... Oh, get back on the ground, have it. All right, back on the feet. Back on our feet. So, let's see. I don't understand. Wow, we are getting rocked by the... Oh, you know, hey. <laughs> I may have been missing a couple AI things. Well, there's our station. What's left of it? <sighs> well, shield's held. Tied in one piece. Nowhere near where it started. That is crazy. All right, let's get the Titan back over where it needs to be. Ah, oh, man. Alright, let's go here, here, here. Yeah, we got rocked. Holy cow. Oh, the other thing, too. Uh, with those uh, increased, more powerful, whatchamacallits, we're going to be able to put those into place on the Titan. 
and not have to worry about trying to fit those azimuth uh, thrusters in. So we'll be able to keep the look and, and finish of the type the way JD designed it and not have to change it up. That's pretty important to me because, I mean, I really liked what he did here with this craft. Okay, let's try this again. Um, gee, many Christmas. That was just, oh, wow. That first hit, I could have swore I saw the Titan spin. And I was like, no, it was us. What, what would, I mean, come on. What kind of hit would that take, or would it take, to cause the entire Titan to spin? I mean, come on. All right, so. All right, so those are gone. Uh, we're not close enough, Havoc. Can we pilot this from here? Titan. We don't have a remote block. Nope. We need to put one on then. <clears throat> so we can do something like that. That'd be really awesome once we get uh, all right. the uh, collar situated too. Ugh. Move over to the right a little bit. Man. I think we converted that to a station just in time. Because otherwise that stuff would have been just <laughs> gone in the wind. So, thanks again, zombie. I couldn't figure out, okay, so I was like, what's going on here? Uh, we're not squared to it. So let's build, let's go to number seven. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this, 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 uh, that. Steel. Alright, let's get over here. Let's place a couple few of these. And where's the star? It may have moved. So if that's there, I don't think it moved. You need steel plates. I thought I had steel plates, but I guess I was wrong. We do have steel plates. What shenanigans is this thing speaking then? Oh, it figures. And then I bet you it's not even pointing the right way. Well, I guess it's pointing the right way relative to something, just not what we were wanting it to. All right, so, <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, have it can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus the three inside, that makes it 13. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So I think that's going to be a little bit better of a size. So 
So we need to get uranium in that and a shield on it so it can stay in one place and not get decimated on a single hit. So here, uranium. I think it was the last one we could pull out of. Yep. Put 200 in there. Should have done the shift click. That'll fine. That'll be fine. Wrong door, Havoc. Alright, so let's go here. We'll just throw a shield right in the middle for now. Uh, let's go to you. All blocks. Arc shield. Place weld. Ah, uh, weld it. Weld it. Thank you. Alright, so we have shields. Right? Right. So large shield generator, you're gonna be shield generator number one. Oh, it's, that's gonna just be that way. Uh, recharge rate, effectiveness. Alright. So it's doing good. Alright. And now we need to go out. 20 in the other directions. I don't think we have enough steel for this, so let's go ahead and grab some. That'll do. <laughs> I think we have enough now. Alright, so if we go this way, then this way. Okay, so, so it's going to be Think that's right? Oh man, now I gotta count it. Cause I think I'm on off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, we got it. Blocks. Um. Blocks. Let's put this here. Um, the interior place figures. Aye, aye, aye. Um, we're going to put this here. I know we haven't been using them, but uh, we're going to put it there so we have a solid block that I know is solid and square. It can mount all the sides to all that shenanigans. Let's put this in this back. Don't need that. There. Now we can grab plenty of them instead. Alright, so we put one down here. here. Alright. Now let's go ahead and put this here. And we're just going to go out from here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I haven't got new tools because, I, quite honestly, I expect to die again here really, really soon. And I don't really want to keep losing the premium elite tools. How'd I do? How'd I do? <gasps> Boom. Look at that. That is phenomenally awesome. Havoc nailed it on the first try. Alright, so let's go paint. Yeah, let's have Bob do it. He'll do it faster than us. We don't have that special grinder on us, so. There we go. Thanks, Bob. <clears throat> Get that paint switched back. I think we're on that one. Seven, number one. So 
that should be 10. Let's double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So let's throw 10 more on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Let's go here, here. Now we need to rotate Titan and the collar. What I need to do is split Titan and collar to pick better defensive postures at the station. What? No, no Havoc, that's not how you... No walking on the furniture. Wait, am I going the right way? I can't say. No, we were not. All right, there we go. What is this? Corrupt Stalker Drone. Okay, dude, bring it. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I, uh, we get wrecked, we get wrecked. That's, that's pretty much my uh, outlook on it, period. All right, so let's roll. Wrong way, this way. And there we go. That's looking better. Roll a little bit this way. And I was pitching earlier, I realized that. Uh, let's see. We can move up. <clears throat> to starboard a touch. Uh, how about? Oh, there we go. Look at that. This is nice. All right. I'm gonna just move in a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, let's change our camera angle, hopefully a little bit more out. There we go. That should do there. I hopefully think so, at least. Um, no, we need to get a little bit closer because we're not building. It won't be long now. Uh-oh. I think we need to get closer because we're not building that lower portion of the ring. That part that's shimmering. That should be, the bob should start welding on that if we were close enough. At least that's my logic behind it, so. We can't get a good enough angle. All right, we're gonna park there because I, I have no idea what that was. I hit multiple buttons at once. 
So uh, the idea I thought would be that if we were close enough, the bobs would weld. Probably. Oh wow, we're we're very close. Too close, in fact. And they are welding it. It's just um, <laughs> get a little closer. Don't be shy. We may have hit the station just a little bit. Just that's, but that's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Uh, to make this easier for us both, just give up. Okay, I give up. Just come on over here, collect whatever you need, and we'll call it a day. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this guy looks like before he gets shot at. Control panel. Take control. Just a touch. Here we go. Whoa, mouse sensitivity and that camera angle? Mm, not so much, I think. Whoa, look at that. Uh, I need something between this and this. I'm sorry. Just need something, guys. I realize he's getting closer and everything, but I, I mean, I need, like, that's a decent step right there, but that's. <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right. Uh, so that happened. Um, <clears throat> so I need to go to number seven, number one, and then count out 20. One, two. Halfway. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No one's going to save you, Havoc LP. <laughs> this is where the story, or where your story ends. Yeah. I actually, I, I, I have reason to be concerned. Uh, look how far away those weapons are shooting. Uh, they have one of the mods I downloaded was uh, the weapon restructure. Yeah, so uh, what it is is uh, there's a mod author, I think it's Lucas, um, creates these great uh, AI drone. All these mods. Uh, he. <laughs> So, yeah, basically he made a script that replaces all these standard turrets, like those. If there's room, it will take anything that you have installed and replace it with one of those. He stopped. Or he's slowing. He's just going to hang out right outside a weapons range. That's kind of a jerk thing to do. Oh, now he's hauling balls. Ah! <laughs> Be afraid. Be afraid, afraid. Oh, yeah, look at that. Energy weapons. Get him, guys. Get him. That was us slamming into our ship. <laughs> I was in full reverse. <laughs> was not paying attention to the direction we were pointing. Uh, we need this respawn so we can get back out there. Uh, have it go. I want to see what's going on. Uh. Whoa, he just like jumped right up on us. Dampener's on. Well, our station lived. Titan and collar are intact. Bob, get to grinding. We need those resources. Builders, control A. Turned on. Grind before weld. Go, go, go. Get it all. Nom nom nom. 
Fantastic. Whatever that weapon is. Holy cow. What is this? HSR Pulsar Turret. That thing was cool looking. Might have to do some upgrades. HSR Pulsar Turret. HSR Pulsar Turret. Let's take a look real quick while we can. While we remember. Wrong menu. HSR Pulsar Turret. Well, it takes up a standard footprint. That's pretty cool. I guess that's where the ammo goes in. Does it take anything special? Whole HSR rail components, which we will get from that. That's going to be cool. Um, let's see here. Let's get rid of you. You're gone. Thank you, Bob. Uh, let's go back to paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't want it to be... Oh, let's go with... Vat Blue. Okay. Number nine. Put it there. You need steel plates. Of course we do. Look at all these steel plates. I think I take some of these. So that's exactly what I was talking about. How um, oh, that's what the, okay. I grabbed it. And I'm like, that's the component we need. <laughs> that is the component. Without having to build one. So there it is. We have an HSR railgun. That's pretty damn cool looking. That needs to be a different color. How about that color? Doesn't change it much. Let's try black. Black is ominous enough. Alright. So... Did we get all that stuff? No, we did not. The reason is, is we are out of range. Okay. Let's fix that real quick. So this is going to get interesting as these uh, ships keep spawning. We're going to have a myriad of different f weaponry firing at us. We've been very fortunate that it's all been vanilla weapons and stuff up until now. And with that, we've been able to get away with, well just decimating them with our shields and overwhelming them with just as much firepower. So that was the whole point of cranking things up is to level the playing field because um, up until now uh, we had an unfair advantage is a drastically Under, a drastic understatement is of us having the uh, the field advantage. So uh, that's gonna be changing though. That's the whole point of us dialing it up. Got to keep us on our toes. I mean, like even the meteors are just like, meh, sure, whatever. They can't get to the shield. Um, they do cause shenanigans because, like, if we had a ship come in. Well, kind of like how that happened. He started shooting at the meteors, too. But, uh... I need some steel plates. So I may as well grab some. Alright, thanks, Bob, for cleaning all that up. <clears throat> so, like, right now, if we had a drone strike, the drones are going to be getting shot at just as equally. All right, so we're 20 by 20 by 20. We are 20 by 20 by 20. All right, so let's get this in place. We're going to throw the paint job on after. So I know this is a different colored block than all the rest. I for some reason, he like 
deleted that block. I was like, what? Wrong color. Uh, so there we go. Let's get this. You need... Oh. Steel plates, steel plates, steel plates. Four. Go. And a couple more. One, two, three, four, five more. Sure. That sounds good. Let's check it out. Should be pretty close. Two for two. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. So we got this going. Uh, about there. No, we missed. We missed on that one. I'm okay with that. Let's get this going. You have to see a place. Oh yeah. I see a whole bunch right here. Place back in. No, no. Mistakes are made. Okay. And boom, boom. All right. So that's the start of our ring. This is not, um, this is just for structural purposes. Oh, dope, another mod. Oh, man. Did I get the right ones in this time? No, I didn't. Let's try structure. Man, okay, so I found the mod that I was looking for. Near storm inbound. And I, in, in, there it is, these guys. That's the block I have been looking for. These are the blocks you are looking for. Um, because the the thing is, is they uh, said they're direct X lava compatible. Oh. Pull it up, see what it looks like. Is it still purple? <sighs> That's not fair. It said it was direct X lava compatible. All right, so we're gonna have to get rid of that mod. Uh, we can put um, this there, though, because that's what we're building with as well. That's frustrating, because I really liked that block. We used it, I think, in Season 2, and I really liked the way it looked. All right, so let's keep going, keep going, keep going. So I want to get this ring filled out, and then... Uh, once we get this ring filled out, I want to build up about, I think about six blocks in each direction, and then uh, we're going to start the actual structure, and I'll show you what I mean in just a sec. There. All right, so, that is more grandiose. This is closer to what we're looking at going forward. I really like that's a little bit better in size than where we started. So um, let's go ahead and start over here in this corner we just left. I'm gonna come up, let's see. One, two, three, five. Like so. All right, so we're gonna come up like five. Uh, well, we need to put some here too. Like that. Uh, this, and if we're gonna do this both directions. Three, four, five. 
this is going to be where we start building downward and inward. Um, I want this to be the quintessential. This is this, the core. Um, so the next step that I want to do would be uh, not that block, this block. Let's come in. It's not where I wanted that. We're going to come in a block. Like so. How's that look? That'll be fine. And then we're going to put our shield block there. G. Destroy that. Shield. Yep, that guy. We're going to put this one here. And we're going to put it like so. That's not going to work for me. That will, though. Which means we're going to put this one here, where our happy head is in the way. All right. Yes. Like that, and then like that. So, the idea being is that this thing is going to taper inward and come up to a point and vice versa, top to bottom, top to bottom, symmetrically. As we go one way, we're going to go the other way, the same build. So, as we have, um, we're going to put these shields in this configuration in all four corners but also all four corners going that direction as well. Then, on the inside of here, what I want to do, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's make this our build bar. Window. <clears throat> Where's the big end? Three by three by three flat, right? Three by three inverted. You. So then we'll put this guy we need girders. Oh, girders. Our arch rival. We have 225 of them in here. This could be a problem. Okay, there we go. We're good. We are good on girders. So the point of this area between these shields and these shields below is we're going to have platforms inside here for us to walk around on and observation decks and all the fun shenanigans. So this is the direction we want that. Like that. Correct? Yes, that is what we want. Okay, so then we come over here. We're going to do the same thing again. Oh, I remember what I was doing. So, two by five and then inset one. Okay. It's three, four... Set one, carry it out one, like so. Put our shield down, like so. Yes. Yes. Yas. Okay, and then go back to number two, number four, and then we throw our window down. So, oh, this is gonna get annoying. So, hopefully, this is gonna line up. 
Oh, uh, no, 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 don't reset. Dead reset. Just when you thought you had it right. Nope, it reset again. not reset if I go from the other angle. You will. Oh, the frustration's real. Alright. Oh, then we miss entirely. Come on, Havoc! No, it does not fit. How many blocks are we off? One or two? We're off two, so we can use a two by three. We can use a two by three on a one by three on either end. Yeah, a one by three on either end. So we'll take this out. We need one by three, 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 one by three. One by two, one by two. One by two, one by two. I need one by three. One by three flat. Alright. That's what we need. So we need it right here. I can't tell which direction it's pointing. That's horrible. So that goes there. I gotta take all these out. Uh, because it doesn't line up. Okay, so then we put another one by three over here. So I have a problem is that neither one of those are showing a tint. I don't want that, this problem we have here. See, that window right there doesn't have tint at all, like either side. I want that. Okay, let's hold on. Which one is this? Because that's a one by two. <sighs> that, this is the one by three flat. So I used a one by three inverted. All right, so let's grab some glass real quick. Let's see if we can get this figured out. Let's display glass. Let's get rid of you. You, you, and the 8,000 scrap metal. What in the heck? We don't need 800 of those. All right, let's do this. The Great Glass Debate of 2018. Okay, so that looks normal. And that is normal. Inverted. What shenanigans is this? That's bull. Come on, Keen, fix your crap. You can't even make a matching glass. Mm. Frustration levels high. And we're gonna die from lack of oxygen.
replenish. Come on. Thank you. Replenish. Come on. Oh, come on. Azimuth oxygen tank. Control panel. Storm oxygen inbound. tank. It's either you or you. Um, stockpiles off. Auto refill bottles. Auto refill bottles. Okay, you know what? Control A. Auto refill bottles. <laughs> Let's go back into here. Bottle. Oh, come on. Why can't things just work? Like glass. Uh, okay, so options. Window. Alright, let's try this one. <clears throat> We want the one with the tent because every other window is going to have the tent. No tent. No tent, no tent, no tent. Multiple fighter drones incoming. This is starting to get frustrating because this has to happen in order for us to make our windows fit. Watch this. Tinted. Not tinted. That's going to look stupid. We're going to build this whole massive structure out of glass. <sighs> Alright, if we're not going to get away from it, maybe we'll utilize it. Maybe we'll make it some type of... We'll put lights behind this or something. I, I, don't, I don't know. We're going to have to work on it. Meteor storm inbound. Oh, this is the scenario I was just talking about. About drones incoming. And meteors incoming as well. Oh, that was a laser. That was a laser. That was us dying. At least we died so Bob can pick up our stuff. I mean, there is that. Um, so I showed the lasers were changing, or the shields were changing colors, which means uh, that's not what I wanted to do. We're taking hits. The drones are uh, definitely getting stronger. All right. Well, that was fun. And we got one more coming. Oh, can we do this? Hold on. Control panel. H. Yes. Pulsar turret. Maximum. Holy crikey. 12,000? Ah, uh, he's out of... He's out of visible range. Okay, so... Control panel. Wait, uh, inventory is what I wanted. And I clicked in there. So I have 91 rounds of that HSR Pulse magazine stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, jetpack on. So we might look into making a few more of those 12,000 range. Uh, let's. 
head over here to our production production facilities. Production. That doesn't really matter which one. We're just trying to figure out. Uh, I think I remember what that picture looked like. It was something like these. that almost let's go back into it. inventory HSR there it is Pulsar magazine okay it's a pretty interesting picture we should be able to figure that out so it's a lighter colored picture boom there it is nope close I think that might have been it. It had a different name though. It actually had HSR Pulse. Sixteen thousand rounds. Um, there it is right there. Nope, that's a Cyclops. So it has multiple, that thumbnail has multiple uh, weapons ammo types uh, let's see how about this one uh, magnesium and iron that's pretty inexpensive where did that other one go there it is silver and magnesium that's quite a bit more expensive silver is not that common at least for stuff we've been recycling. I was like, we have resources, come on now. All right, fine. Uh, let's go to Assembler. <laughs> oh, you have all the stuff. Oh, by them not being red, it makes it much cleaner too. make it better makes it easier to uh, look at the thumbnails power coupler all right let's try making one of those should be pretty simple thank you and let's make one of the other ones. Ooh, those produce faster. Okay, so assembler, where are you, buddy? See, that's even labeled something completely different. HS. No idea where this stuff came from. Oh, I bet you it was from the planet stuff. Yeah. It's not that it's not connected, it just pulsar turret. Production assembler. That's just not the right ammo. Meteor storm inbound. And there's no, uh, there's no search. Come on, Keen. Help a guy out for crying out loud. This is wrong that I have to do it this way. Rotary, mag. Should have been like right there. But it's not. I 
I'm not finding it at all. So we have a gun that we can't create ammo for. Real. All right, so it's a cool gun. It will be awesome if we could find ammo for it. This is all scrap, so that is what it is. So we're going to have to deal with the glass. The glass is going to have to be a thing. I might just end up downloading more glass. Uh, glass options, maybe some larger windows would be probably pretty cool anyway. Because uh, even these 3 by 3s on... The size that we're going to be creating aren't going to be large enough. Um, is there anything in here other than just? You now, see, there's some missiles. How many do we get? Forty. That's 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 some componentry right there. That's what we're going to be doing: is taking those and turning them into other things. What is that? What are you? Laser ammo, small ship more than we can carry drop that drop that so yeah this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about we need to be able to be collecting this because um, we can also be stripping this all back down into you know whatever else let's go to here uh, Sam put that to you no we can't how about number five can we go to you no here you want this similar to you don't even want it that's passenger seat similar to Let's take some of that out of there. Why are we... Everything's full. That's why. Uh, let's put this stuff in here. Go back to us. Put this in here now. There we go. Alright, so that's Assembler 2. Production. Assembler 2. Disassemble all. Look at all of that. Uranium, platinum, silicon, magnesium, nickel, and iron. Fantastic. All right. So we're going to wrap up here. Um, I hope you guys like the uh, basic layout <laughs> for what we're doing on the station. Um, we're going to do some skeletal work for the next couple episodes. And then when I start getting into my uh, time off, uh, I will do a, a larger uh, sections of them. I just build, basically build them off camera and then uh, give you guys a little a bit of an update kind of thing. So then I really want to be collecting all this because there's stuff like this out here that uh, we're not going to get. This stuff's going to go away. Ah. There's more. See, look, there's more missiles. 40 of them. Boom. All right. So thanks for watch, watching, everybody. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys think, uh, how we're going to be going in the direction we're going to be going, all that fun stuff. And, uh, oh, I just had an idea. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go, before we go, let's go to G. Yeah. You guys were probably screaming at the entire time. Havoc! Do it! Put the thing on the thing! So we're gonna put the thing on here. And we don't have any steel plates. <laughs> the whole thing falls apart. That was the the key holding it together. Actually it's the reactor. If the reactor goes, then it's done. Build it. You're in range. Come on, Bob. closest one is probably going to be this one. So let's get this one thrown on here. Come on, Bob. Help me out, buddy. 
All right, so yeah, we'll take care of this in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This is Havoc. Have fun, and keep gaming.